Welcome, Guardians. This is your friendly neighborhood, Longwood, here, with another Destiny 2 video for you all. Hi, everybody. Never mind me and my flaming table. All right. Well, this uh, video is all about the Ascended Challenge this week, and it is specifically week number three in the rotation. But before we get into that, Guardians, look up there at your top right-hand corner. It'll say, please like Longwood's channel, and please click on that to like my channel. That would be greatly appreciated. And click on the Aaron Tide, subscribe, and like as well. All right, Guardians, we are going to get into the Extended Challenge. I'm going to let you know everything you need to know so you are in the know so we can get to go. <laughs> All right. So go find Miss Petra, and then once you find Petra, she will have this Ascendant Challenge for you, right? And if you look really, 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 really close, it'll say at the bottom there, climb the bones and you will find your ruin. So it kind of tells you where you need to go. Um, you need to actually find something up tall and go to the ruins. So once you get going here you go to like you go find the queen you go left and then you just keep on going until you get to this point here where you get to the bridges and then you start seeing all these floaty rocks in the background right and that's how you know you are definitely in the right place guardians all right so you just kind of will your way through you know staying alive missing the melee you know whatever you got to do and you just keep going, rolling, 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 right? Okay, and see here, this is the pedestal, the floating rock of goodness that you need to get to. You get over here and you kill this bad guy, all right? You'll jump up here and you won't see anything. That's because you got to pop your tincture. So, get into your inventory of goodness. And by the way, this is where we are on the map, up here, just in case. And then you get into your inventory, you pop your tincture. E yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. And then magically you can see stuff like nobody else can see. All right, Guardians. Well, this is where it kind of gets tricky. It's really dark in here. Um, it's a jumping puzzle. And uh, not only is it a jumping puzzle, it actually has uh, little orbs or blights or whatever you want to call them that will come out and touch you and love on you. So we don't like love from them. So once you kind of get in here, you get to the middle, you orientate yourself, and then you just look around and you'll find a couple pedestals. It really doesn't matter which one you take. You can take either one. It just takes you through a different route. So what I do specifically is I try to give myself some leeway. I run next to them, but not too close. Allow them to explode if they can. And then if you have enough room, just try to shoot at them. And, uh, you know, usually it takes one or two shots. But if you're too far away, they will respawn on top of you, Guardians. All right. So once you're in here, you will have to watch out for little snipers as well. And they hurt because you can't find them and you tell it's usually too late so you just keep on going like i said keep your space and your distance between these steep explodey things and as you can see the pedestals are uh well not pedestals but the the route is basically pretty much laid out for you you just find the way up and if bad guys are shooting at you, chances are you're probably doing something right. Eh. All right, Guardians. This is the joy of Ascendant. Some of them are easy, some of them are hard. This is probably right in the middle category. And there's one of those bad guys I was talking about. Take them out as quick as possible. And you keep on jumping over here and the goal is is to get up on top of that statue that's in the background there you see his face up there in the top left hand corner take care of these little bad guys i really wish that it would one shot these that'd be cool 
And if you're a hunter, I would uh, recommend some stompies in here. They do well. But it's also kind of a pain because once you get to the boss, you will see here soon that uh, my tether doesn't recharge. But if you got the skills, you don't need that, right? Right. I would have skills sometimes. And by the way, this is a solo act, right? Don't see nobody helping me. <laughs> You're like, good job, Longwood. <laughs> All right, so you just come in here and, uh, yeah, you find bad guys, you kill bad guys, and uh, whittle away at said bad guys without dying, mind you. No dying is allowed, because if you do, Guardians, you get kicked out, and you have to do it all over again, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that a lot. <laughs> so you find that boss. I give him the hammerhead love, and my hammerhead loves on him. Just blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Love him. Love him, love him. And then you give him some more love. Some invisible love. All right, just a little bit more love. I love you. Come here and die. Yes, Guardians, yes. And that's how you do it, right? And then once you uh, kill the bad guy, the main boss, you find this treasure chest. And you get goodness. And it shows that you complete. Well, I hope you liked my video, and I hope you liked my channel. This has been your friendly neighborhood, Longwood. Wishing you all good hunting.